Welcome everyone to another explosive issue of Thanos Rising. This is issue 3. I am your host, of course, Sean Jackson. Now, let's look at what Thanos has been up to since the last issue. Yeah, um, you know, like the comic opens with him, you know, saying that he could remember the day of his birth. You know, just, this is just after he murders his mom. But, you know, many, many months later, Thanos actually has a wife and child. Yeah, weird, isn't it? But yeah, he gets away from Titan, goes to, you know, he goes to join pirate ships, uh, actually, just a pirate ship, and, you know, no, like, the captain gets, he immediately hates him, because he's like, oh, you're only good, you know, with machines, that, that's stupid, every part of, every member of my crew needs to murder, he's like, but, I still love the fact that even, like, after all the murders that Thanos has committed, he still is against it. That's pretty interesting. And also, I love uh, this little flashback of Thanos holding his, you know, holding his son. And it's a great moment where he's, he says, is there a monster in you or is it just me? You know, because he doesn't want that child to grow up to be him. You know, he doesn't want him to be a psychotic murderer. Which is, which says a lot about his character. Anyway, um... But yeah, yeah, Thanos just rolling with the pirates. Uh, you know, he's sleeping with like a bunch of hookers or whatever, space hookers. And also, I love the fact that one uh, one of the pirates actually mentions space sharks, which I would love to see in one of these comics, but it never gets brought up again. That's that's bullshit. Um, but yeah, Thanos leaves his uh, he leaves his family. He kills the um, the captain of the pirate ship because he provoked him. All, he, all Thanos did was close his eyes, then when he woke up, the guy was dismembered. Um, he goes back to Titan, visits his mom's grave, when death, of course, comes back. And Thanos uh, proclaims his love for her, and she's like, Okay, you're going to have to just pledge yourself to me, and me alone. And you know what that means. So, Thanos returns home to his wife and child, and murders them. Murders them both. And they have a lot more people to kill because Thanos has been sleeping around. And that's the end of the comic. It's, wow, amazing. I mean, because uh, as soon as Thanos killed the, the pirate captain, he just fully embraced what he was. He fully embraced the murder. He... Hey, he was born, you know, because the reason why he got away from Titan, the reason why he got married and had a kid, because he thought he could find some type of purpose. He could feel something, you know, you know, so that way he could find himself. But when he murdered that captain, he finally knew who he was. He finally got it. And so now thus begins the rise of the mad titan you know the you know the the guy that you know gets the infinity gauntlet and just starts like to rule everything you know i love this comic i really do like all the previous issues got 10 out of 10 and this deserves nothing less than a 10 this is this is beautiful it's a really great issue i love how they go into you know thanos's backstory and they don't fuck it up because usually if you give it, give it to another writer, they would fuck it up. But I'm glad they didn't do that. I highly recommend you guys go out and get it. This is a must-have. Go buy it. And have a great day, everybody.